Hi, last year I made this video. We're gonna make a video game on the Steam Deck using Unity Game Engine and Visual Studio Code. And since making it, Unity have decided to um, remove some stuff from their website, which have made it completely obsolete. But I have good news. The built-in Steam Deck desktop mode app installer has received an update that allows it to actually run Unity properly. So the process has become much simpler. I'm making a new video on how to install Unity and Visual Studio Code on your Steam Deck to get, build a game straight on the Steam Deck. And after that, I will be linking to my previous video to basically show you how to build that basic game that was part of that video. But if you only need the instructions on how to install Unity and Visual Studio Code, just go ahead and watch this video and you'll be done. Enjoy. Okay, so what are we doing? Step one is to switch the Steam Deck to desktop mode. Once that is done and we're in the Steam Deck, you're going to want to open the File Explorer, scroll down on the left to the SD card, after clicking on it, right click in the main window and create a new folder called Unity. This is where we're going to keep the Unity installation, the Unity Game Engine installation, as well as all your project files, so it's they're nice and clean. If you don't have an SD card, I guess just store them in your Steam Deck's home folder. I prefer to do it on the SD card because it's expandable storage and I can just swap it at any time. Then, in the search bar, go ahead and click on the third icon called the Discover icon. This is this is basically the Steam Deck built-in desktop mode app installer <laughs> that I was talking about earlier. And when that loads, type in in the search at the top left, Unity Hub. Hit enter, and then click install. Now, through the magic of editing, it only takes a second, but actually it takes around 10 to 15 minutes, so be patient with it. Then, go to start type in Unity, and there it is. Hit enter, and voila, the Unity Hub is installed. Now you need to sign in. When you click the sign in button, however, if this is a fresh version of Steam, of Steam Deck OS, you won't have Firefox installed. So, Discover will open automatically to allow you to install it. Ignore the error message at the bottom, and just click install. Again, for the magic of Unity, this happens instantaneously, but it does take a minute. Once it's done, skip through all the nonsense of Firefox, just skip everything, you're not in really interested in signing into anything, you just want to get to browsing as fast as possible. Then switch back to Unity Hub and click the sign in button again. A link, a web page with the sign in option should appear. This is where you need to sign in with your Unity account. If you do not have one, you need to create one. I already have one, so I'm just going to sign in with my account. After signing in, you get prompted to open a link. I select the always allow because it, I would always want the Unity Hub to open these links. And once I click it, it will sign me into Unity Hub. That simple. Then just follow the steps on screen to basically install the Unity game engine. As I said earlier, I choose to do it on the SD card, but sometimes I forget what the path to it is. So for everybody that's confused as I usually am, it's in run slash media slash the weird folder starting with an M. And then slash Unity, hit select folder, and just hit install Unity Editor. Click agree, because you have to agree to the policy if you want to be able to use their software. And now you wait. A fairly long time. I am sorry. C'est la vie. Once the installation is complete, close off that window. You will see it in the install section. And click in projects, click new project. On the left hand side, select core that's what you want to use you don't want to use any of the learning templates and then select 3d name your project something you want i name mine test cube because i just want to test that unity works and then click the browse folder or click the folder icon on the second field so you can browse to put your project in the correct folder again this is going to be under run media m name unity and in here create a new folder called projects this is a goal, of course, just personal preference. This is how I like doing it. You can do it however you want. You can put it your projects wherever you want. Then click Create Project. This will take a minute for Unity to spin up and do all the presetting for you and so on and so forth. And bam! Unity, you're in Unity. Let's continue to uh, setting up a small test scene and then afterwards installing Visual Studio Code to make sure we're all ready for any development that we want to do. Right click sample scene on the left hand side, select game object and select 3D object and select cube. Then name your cube whatever you like. I named my test cube, but it can be literally whatever. You can just leave it as cube if you want. There's our cube. 
Then in the lower part of the screen, where it says Assets, right click, Create and C Sharp Script. Name this script, Cube Test, Move, whatever you want to call it. It's just an idea that we're going to be using it to test Visual Studio later on. Unity will take a second to recompile. Select your cube, and on the right hand side click Add Component, and type in Rigid Body. Hit Enter, and a Rigid Body will be added to the cube. This is basically to show that gravity works within the game engine. This is how we test it. And then click Add Component again, type in Cube Test, and add the C Sharp script we created before. It currently does nothing, but it will in the future. Now, if we are to run our project, the cube falls, which is great. It's exactly what we wanted. Gravity is affecting the cube. Perfect. Double click the C Sharp script. Uh oh, it's telling us we don't have Visual Studio installed. That's fine. Click yes. Haha, <laughs> it's not that simple. It just opens the Flat, flat, flat Hub website. That's not what we want. We need to go back to Discover and type in Visual Studio Code. Hit Enter. Hit Install. Takes a little while to install, but not too long. And once it is done, go back to Unity and double click again. And we get a new error message this time. We need to install the .NET 6 and Mono 6 SDKs. But how do we, and when you click OK, even though it's a warning, it will still launch Visual Studio Code, but it won't be working as you expected, because we don't have those things installed. Click to trust the authors in Visual Studio, and click install when prompted if to install the C Sharp extensions. Do not hit the disable message in settings, just leave it as it is for now. Go back to Visual Studio, double click the script again, and it gives us a different error message. And this one's important that we do, but I'll show you how to do it, that we follow, but I'll show you how to do it later on. Right now, we need to sort out those SDKs it told us about previously. So click start and type in console with a K. So basically K-O-N-Sol. Hit enter. And there we go. We have the console in front of us. In here, you're going to need to type these commands exactly. I will put them on the screen as they should be typed in. And after each command, press enter. So we're going to start with installing Mono 6. So it's flat pack install org dot free desktop dot SDK dot extension dot Mono 6. Hit enter. And then from the list that shows up on screen, make sure you select the option that is 22.08 at the end. In my case, it's the second option. Yours might be different. So make sure it's the option that has says 22.08 at the end, because that's the version that's compatible with Visual Studio Code currently. So type two, press enter. Then you can just press enter or type Y and press enter to accept. It installs. And then we have to do the same thing again for .NET 6. To shorten the amount of typing you have to do, just on empty, press the up arrow on your keyboard and it will show you, it will retype for you your previous command. And just at the end, delete mono6 and type .NET 6. Press enter. And again, in this list, make sure you select the option that has 22.08 at the end. In my case, it's option free. So I type in free and press enter. Again, either enter or Y and then enter, doesn't matter. It will install. Then back into Unity, click the script again, and you will get the error message again that we need to change something in settings. We're gonna do just that now. On the left hand bottom side, click the cog icon, then select settings. At the top, at the in the search bar that appears, type omni sharp dot use. And now in the list on the right hand side, there should be an option that shows up called OmniSharp use modern net that's ticked. Untick it. It will ask you to restart OmniSharp. This is unfortunately, unfortunately not enough. You will need to restart the whole Visual Studio code. So go ahead and close Visual Studio code, code completely. Double click the script again. And you'll see this time Visual Studio code starts without any errors, which is good. It will download the package that it needs to, for in order to work correctly. 
but for me at this point it might work from you for you from this point forward but for me there was another issue it couldn't find the project files that unity created for some reason so what i had to do to fix it is i closed visual studio code and went back into unity and under edit preferences in the menu that appears click on external tools and then click on regenerate project files this will basically force Unity to regenerate all the project files that are needed for Visual Studio Code. Close this window, double click the script one more time, and now it should just work. To test this, what I like to do is basically I just made the transform position change. So I went and typed transform, press control space, and autocomplete should show up with all the relevant options. If it doesn't, it means it doesn't work. If it does, it means everything is working fine and you're good to go. So I just went transform.position equals new vector free of 0, 0, 100. 0, 0, 100 basically is away from camera by 100 meters in this case. So basically what's going to happen is when the game starts, the cube instead of being right in front of the camera will move 100 meters back and then start folding. So let's save the script, go back to Unity. It should recompile to take into account all the changes that we made in the script. And then when you press play, the cube is now tiny, tiny, tiny and falling way in the distance. And that's it. Mission accomplished. You have Unity and Visual Studio Code ready to go on your Steam Deck and to create any game. If this is all you wanted, congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. If you also wanted to see the part about how to create that basic game that I made in the previous video, now is a good time to navigate to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description that will lead you to the correct timestamp on the other video where you can just continue development other than that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.